How's it going out there? Today I want to show you how to download books on the Kindle Fire. Uh, we want to jump right in. Make sure your Kindle is on if you have one, if you're following along. If not, then just watch and let me show you how it's done. So uh, these are our libraries right here. We want to go ahead and click on books. Okay, these are a couple books I have already downloaded on my device. Um, now, first thing before we start downloading is notice that you have a cloud and you have a device. Um, when you click on device, it shows you all the books that are actually on your Kindle. Um, if you click on cloud, these are all the books that you have purchased, even if they're free or they're trials or whatever. Um, they're still connected with your account, but if you notice, I have three books on my device and four in my cloud. So there's a little arrow that's uh, on the bottom of this book. And if I click on that arrow, it'll let me download that to my Kindle from the cloud. Okay, so just keep in mind, if you had an older Kindle before and you just switched to the Kindle Fire, you probably have a lot of books in your cloud because basically anything you ever purchased um, is connected with your account and should be in your cloud. So um, you can kind of go through and pick which books that you want to sync onto your Kindle Fire. And you know they'll all show up under the cloud and the ones you want on your device you hit the little arrow and it'll download it right on there and right now it's actually downloading that book so anyway let's go ahead to the store we want to go right here upper right corner click on store this is where we actually go look for books and this is how we download a book we're gonna go I'm gonna look up the book um, rich dad rich dad poor dad so it comes up in the search so there it is. Now I have a rule of thumb when I download books is I like to usually download a sample first. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and tap on Rich Dad Poor Dad. And so there's the buy for $5.65 and there's a try a sample. I actually always do try a sample first because it will actually download um, a couple of pages of the book so I can actually read a little bit and try it out and see if I really want it. Um, if not, no harm done. I don't lose any money. So now the sample button turns into read sample now. And what it'll do is it's going to kick you right over to your Kindle or to the book that's actually downloaded, which is the, uh, excuse me, the sample. We just downloaded a sample. So now the sample's on here. I want to go ahead and switch to black on white because this is easier to view for the camera. Um, and so now I can actually look through and see different, um, you know, this is like the first chapter so I can read a little bit and see what the book's all about and decide do I want to pay the money for it. And if so, I will. And I'm going to tap here and go to home or actually I'm use the arrow to go back and it takes me back to the bookstore. So I'm going to go cancel here. And let's search one more book. Let's just, we can type in actually free books. And then we can find a list of just a bunch of books that are free and see if there's anything good that catches your interest. Um, gingerbread Cookbook. Now, I've always wanted to know how to do that. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to actually download this one. So I'm going to, excuse me. Click on Buy for Free. And they process it. They call it a purchase anyway, even though it's free because it is going to link with your Amazon account so um, it just says thank you for purchasing this book this title will be downloaded to your library after uh, progress, is, pro progress is complete so we're done now we can hit cancel and we can actually click on library and then it will take us to uh, all of our books and our gingerbread book is already downloaded it's right here uh, yeah, sorry about the angle sometimes it, it's hard to see it uh, so we're going to tap on that and this will actually open up the book we just downloaded which is the gingerbread book and this is the recipe I gotta go out and buy this stuff because I want to make some gingerbread man <laughs> just kidding but pretty much that's how easy it is to download a book on the new Kindle Fire uh, it's even easier than the older Kindle because the older Kindle wasn't touch screen so you had to kind of use the arrows to maneuver to get to what you wanted but now everything is just tap it and then we can use our finger to just swipe left and right and that's pretty much how we download a book on the Kindle Fire 
It's going to look a lot better on yours, um, unfortunately, because I'm using a camera and the lighting is a little weird in here. It's not showing all the pictures on the screen, but you will see all the pictures when you download it on your Kindle at home. So I hope that was helpful, and uh, keep watching H2 Tech videos for all your technology questions or learn how to do the stuff that uh, you want to learn. All right, have a good one.